Welcome to the Academy of Photography. Imitation and image stealing online is the highest form of flattery. I'm Christian Tudor and today I would like to talk about content management online, especially for images and also watermarking issues. Why do I want to talk about it? It's because I believe watermarking is, is important when you want to uh, manage your images online or your, your presence on the social media on your website needs to be as, uh, as high as possible. However, if you believe that uh, doing a flash website where you can actually drag and drop your images just in order to protect your work, you have to think again because a flash website will guarantee your an anonymity. Having images online is just a matter of uh, evolution, what happens today, so you need to think about it. And I would suggest you're trying to put as much work as you can out there without worrying about it. I'll show you a few tips what you can do to improve the situation. In my opinion, if someone wants to steal your work, they will. You should regard stealing your work as a, as a vote for you. That means your images are better and people are, will want to, to copy them or imitate them. Actually, using your images for someone else's commercial purposes without asking your permission, it's a crime. And obviously, you can take some steps against that. However, if people do want to drag and drop your work and they get inspired or they are trying to copy your ideas, that is actually a form of flattery and you should embrace it. I just want to share with you a few tips that I believe it's important how you manage your images online because the way how you deal with your work, it will impact on long term on your business success, your visibility online and your public profile. In my opinion, it's important to watermark your images if they will be online. Why you want to do that? Because you never know where, where your images might end up and at least your information should go with them. So what I'm trying to do is I put my logo on all my images that go online and uh, I'm trying to encourage my clients to use those for their social media. Every client that you have and they upload their, your images on Facebook that has a lot of potential and there will be sparks for your business. People will see the logo and you create some traffic. Also, you need to understand that all the images online, they have some embedded and, and uh, hidden meta description and just spending a few minutes on that one, it might actually help. I'm going to give you a few examples. I'm going to show you the best tools I use. You can watermark your images in bulk in Adobe Lightroom. So if you don't have a Lightroom, uh, I will show you a small piece of software that will put your logo and will change the it will change the metadata in few seconds for a lot of images at one time i'm gonna jump on my computer and i'm gonna show you a few things but before i go just want to give you an example it is very important how you name your images if you have an image with uh, just a img and the number dot jpeg online that means nothing if you call the image whatever content is in it that means you have a chance to be found easier i'll give you an example I have received clients because they googled, I'll give you an example, pregnancy photography in Sydney and I just happen to have one image which is called pregnancy-photography.jpg and this is how that client actually found me. Uh, they saw the images, they googled images and they uh, clicked on the image and they ended up on my website. This is just a small example and I believe it's a very good practice. Just learn how to do it, change your behavior and on long term you'll be better. I'm going to jump on my computer, I'm going to show you a few tips and I'm gonna come back. All right, I just jumped on my computer and I'm gonna show you two ways, uh, very easy ways to actually watermark your images. What's the difference between a, a normal image and a watermarked one? On the watermarked one, you're gonna have your logo details and maybe the website somewhere on the image so people can actually see it. So this is just a normal shoot I've done recently in a folder. So uh, two ways, if you have Lightroom, you can do it directly in Lightroom you go to the file and actually Lightroom uh, edit watermark and you will be able to watermark your image so you can actually put here whatever your business might be in my case Tudor photography and you can see here it will be it will be the text imp input here so what I'm, I'm gonna show you a small demonstration Basically, I've already saved the preset here with Tudor, for Tudor Photography and this is done. So what I'm going to do now, when I'm going to go to export, I'm going to have the option to uh, tick on the matter watermark. So what that will do, I'm just going to show it quickly, it's going to export my image 
so this is the image with the with the uh, name on now if you don't have Lightroom I would suggest another possibility because Lightroom you need to actually manage the entire library you need to import all the photos and you need to actually spend a bit of time with that but I have found a very very simple software and it's not that uh, it's not that expensive this is called iWatermark I paid probably 25 29 dollars I don't remember and basically what you can do you have the input and the output folders or individual images let's say I'm gonna create a, a folder I'm gonna drag it here so this will be the output folder and I'm going to select my entire folder from the previous uh, shoot I was talking about let's say this one and I'm going to select the entire folder so I don't have to worry about anything anymore I'm gonna drag it here and I'm gonna watermark the image so I'm gonna be able to edit the watermark the way I see fit so I have few options here and the reason I'm using this is because it's way easier way faster and has some few advantages and you don't have to have Lightroom if you do this in Photoshop it's gonna take you forever because you need to open each individual image and uh, add some text but this one is too easy so here basically you can uh, you can create as many watermark types you can as you can and you can play with it with all these settings you know size and uh, fonts and text and you can actually add the image or you can do background or all sorts of things so I'm not gonna go through that it's just the idea you can watermark the image here okay I'm gonna close this off now very interesting what you can do is actually rename everything and it's very important to rename your files they should not be called EMG or whatever come DSC or whatever comes from your camera don't leave them like that just name them correctly and I'm gonna show you in a second why so you can actually rename them all of them in one go you don't have to worry about it you don't have to open each individual file also very interesting you can resize everything here and this software will do it in a matter of seconds so it will process hundreds of images within a minute or two you don't need to spend the time exporting or importing other libraries with Lightroom so this is way easier you can resize it so everything that goes online I do resize because all my images are is in, uh, in high resolution so for the online purpose I you need to you need to keep them under 200 K's that means 800 by 600 pixels or even lower that would be more than enough for the web and this will save will help you save a lot of memory and uh, it will help you manage your images online way easier easier to download easier to actually be looked at also some uh, advanced which I probably I uh, I've never been inside but I wanted to show you here the EIPTC that means embedded information object name title category you can input some of the keywords here you can input some data and I would suggest spend few seconds and actually do it because that will be your meta information your meta description that means the hidden information that sits behind an image and that is visible in Google if you put JPEGs online Google will actually read this information and if you have sometimes you might have a hit this is the best way and the best practice if you do this every time you put something online I can promise you on long term it's gonna you're gonna have a benefit of increased traffic and that's about it so basically I just hit start processing and you will see how fast it takes it's just 20 images look at that this is just uh, putting the stamp on all of them right now so I'm going I'm going here and this is already uh, re, um, resized but I do have my credentials here so all these images will go online and if they are portraits or whatever your clients have you should give them a set for the online uh, management and whatever their social media or whatever they use will be everyone is gonna see your name and on long term I don't think I think it's pretty obvious you will benefit from that just wanted to give you an example how this practice brought me clients through the door so if you're just going on Google and you type pregnancy photography okay and you go on images you will find it here 
you will find one of my images here and if someone goes through those and actually click it it will direct them straight to my website now just going back because I have typed a very general term pregnancy photography that means all these images are from around the world but if I actually leave in my search to my location and I'm gonna call it pregnancy photography Sydney I can promise you I will be in the first few of them look at that I am in the second row that means people will have a look very quickly on the first page that means if they type images they will actually see this one is mine as well so they will see something and I can tell you I've got clients that actually saw pictures and this is not the individual example I have hundreds of these kind of examples where actually naming the image will give me uh, will will pop up in this search but if someone searches for the images I'm gonna show you how it's called basically if I'm going to view the image here this is my web address and the last bit is actually the the name of the image is called pregnancy photography sydney one dot jpeg i believe this is important if you disagree i'm happy to find out about your opinion other than that that's about it if you change your practice and your behavior with everything you do online uh, you'll, you'll never prevent uh, thieves and and uh, you'll never prevent other people just dragging and drop dragging your images to their computers you don't need to worry about that because they're gonna do it anyway even if you have a flash website they can actually copy paste or print screens so it's never uh, you will never be able to protect your images rather than worrying about it you should embrace it and if someone is stealing your work that means your work is good and you should think it this way I hope it helped I hope you enjoyed this tip thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe on the academy of photography website and uh, if you like this one just give us a thumb up and until i see you next time i wish you happy shooting thank you very much